goes the eight pound test. pounds, 16 pounds, 16 two. Oh crap, 16 pounds and 11 ounces for the eight pound key line. Up next will be everyone's favorite uh, Maxima Ultra Green. And now the Maxima Ultra Green. Stretch here. 911, 913, 10, 5, 10, 11, 11, 2, 11 pounds, 2 ounces, which is pretty consistent with what we were getting, what I was getting during the actual tests. These are demonstration tests. These aren't uh, um, the tests that are actually used in the analysis that I posted up. Up next is uh, Maxima Chameleon. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to be using the P-Line Crystal Clear and 8-pound test. New spool. And 8-pound Maxima and 8-pound test. And I'll have you notice the marking is 10 one thousandths of an inch. The crystal clear is marked <clears throat> at 12 one thousandths of an inch. I don't know if that shows up there. Let's actually take a caliper measurement. I'll just peel off a little bit of line. And 12. 12 one thousandths. One more time with the uh, P line. 12, 12, and that's also in the eight pound test. And their diameter is actually not stated on this, but it's stated on the box. They're both actually tw uh, 12, uh, 12 thousandths of an inch. And the um, ultra green as well, eight pound listed at 10 one thousandths of an inch the actual measured diameter is however 12 12 12 12 one thousandths I always have issues when a company that's uh, engineering a chemical product has trouble measuring the difference between 10 and 12 um, I'm not an engineer, but that seems simple enough to me. The static end, pretty simple, table lice. Used a, uh, the rubber from a uh, brand new uh, brake pedal cover in there. Tighten it up. Um, generally don't have the line bus usually within this kind of distance. It's usually I'm farther out along the line that I get uh, my brakes. And as for the other side, a simple overhand knot is made. Double, 
triple a little loop and again nothing that's on the spindle should be um, what's breaking if it is those results are usually tossed out but that's uh, well less than uh, one out of every 20 poles breaks on the spindle 